that sounds so bomb. Hi guys, so I've been sick for the past 10 days and I actually am going to be drinking this Alka-Seltzer Severe Flu and Cold tablets or whatever. I have not been sick for this long in many years. Usually my sickness is gone in like three days. I thought I had coronavirus, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> so, today I just wanted to do some rambling. Um, I know a lot of people are sick, and to kind of talk about what happened the last week while I was gone. Um, for those of you who don't have me on other social media, was in Arizona actually for my birthday. Okay, let's try this. I really like the color of it. I'm like Trisha Paytas is shaking. <laughs> the Xbox is possessed. Anyway, me and my boyfriend Rizvan, we drove to Arizona on Thursday last week. And the drive is terrible. It's so long. It's like 11 hours. And one thing I really hate about road trips is that you eat like the worst you could possibly eat. Like, you obviously can't cook <laughs> anything. Um, so you either have to like prepare food beforehand, which who wants to do that? Or just eat crap. And I ate a lot of crap. So. So we went for my birthday. I'm 23 now, which sounds really old and I'm sad about it. And we mostly just went there because we wanted to get a feel for what it would be like to move there. That is one of our goals, is to move back to Arizona this year, and I'm really excited about it. I lived in Arizona until I was 13, then my dad got remarried, and so we had to move to Utah. And, yeah, it was honestly a really fun trip, though. We brought our dogs, Link and Mochi. Um, and they loved it. They had a lot of fun. We went to the dog park and stuff, and Link didn't even get attacked once. He always gets attacked, uh, at least here in Utah. <laughs> about this. 
this uh, reservation all day. <laughs> um, so if there's really only three people, that'll be nice. Um, and they like were laughing about it. And then I call my mom and she doesn't answer. Then I look back and she comes walking through the door with this big freaking birthday cake. And I'm like, oh gosh. And I was like, mom, who's coming? And then she was like, surprise, your family's coming, and your aunts and your cousins and all. I'm like, oh. I instantly had an anxiety attack. Um, and that's kind of embarrassing to say because most people, I would assume, are excited to see their family. But the problem is, it's a big group, which instantly means there's going to be lots of small talk, lots of just like hey, good to see you, whatever, and like, quick hellos and like, updates on life, which, uh, no. And so, yeah, my aunts and cousins start showing up, and it's fine, like, I'm really good at pretending I don't have social anxiety, <laughs> and I was kind of mad at my mom because she lied to me to make this surprise happen. I was like, I hate surprises so much. Especially when it involves other people. And so, yeah, we all show up and I'm glad my boyfriend was there. Um, because he's like really social, like he helps me with the conversation a little bit. And so I'm grateful for that. And I was still sick at this point, and I was like nervous that me touching and hugging everyone was gonna get people sick. Um, anyway, so we go and sit down, and of course they're like, oh, Dyson has to be like front and center or whatever, and like, if you know me at all, you know that I hate, hate being center of attention. It's the worst thing. I hate it. Like, it's just the worst. And so, yeah. Anyway, they start cooking for us and stuff, and like I said, they they have like this bottle, it's like a ketchup bottle, but it's filled with like wine, like rice wine, it's called sake, and they squirt it, the guy squirts it in your mouth and like moves it, and you have to like catch it in your mouth, and I have a small freaking mouth, and so they start squirting it like two seconds in, I like closed my mouth because it was gonna start spilling everywhere, and the guy keeps squirting it, and he like sprays down my shirt, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I was like, was that really necessary, and I had a sore throat, and the alcohol like burnt my throat, and I was like, okay, this is terrible, <laughs> but I mean, it was a really nice gesture of my mom to do that, obviously, um, and I kind of got over it, it was just like the social anxiety, it's just so hard for me. So, anyway. So, anyway, we eat dinner and stuff, and there's, like, this shelf of masks, like, creepy masks. There's, like, dragon ones, and then, like, baby masks, like, kind of like the purge, like those creepy plastic ones. And my mom picked out a mask for them to put on me. <laughs> And they put a mask on you and sing happy birthday, and it was just, like, really interesting. And so, at the end of the night, or at the end of dinner, I guess, uh, we were, of course, all just, like, talking and stuff, and I was sitting by one of my cousins, and my, his mom and dad, my aunt and my uncle, and we were talking, and, and we were kind of just talking about, like, life and work because apparently that's what adults do and it sucks and he's a pilot um and he's like what are you doing whatever and I was like oh I'm just working on like social media stuff like I still do YouTube and you know I do photography every once in a while on the side and I do welding and it's like mom and dad like chime in or whatever and they're like oh you should do this this I know someone who does this they make good money like throwing out like job suggestions like which is nice but I also kind of hate it like I, I don't like people give me like advice on my career path I don't know if that might sound like selfish or something but I just 
also shook and he was probably like late 30s early 40s like he was a little bit older and I was like I need to look like that man when I'm older like he had really nice hair he had like a nice face a good body I was like he was like in great shape I was like I hate my life that's just a stupid side note sick. I'm sorry. Get well soon. If you have the gold, go buy this Alka-Seltzer flu stuff from Walgreens because it saves lives. Okay, it's the cure to cancer, I think. And thank you everyone for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you always and forever. I was talking to Pauline anyway. I'm done. Have a blessed day, children. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.